penguin just landed. Boy, that was a quick trip. Oh, boy. If this is the Southland, I want to go back north and freeze. Gee, thanks for the whip, mister. Yeah, don't mention it, kid. I'm going as far as Miami. I've got a big job planned there. Uh, I, I mean, uh, i got a job there. <laughs> wow, I hear a policeman. Oh boy, we're going south real fast now. We've got you, Blackie. Pull over. <laughs> We were just hitching a wide south, sir. Hitchhikers, eh? Don't you know it's not a good idea to hitch a ride with anyone? Oh, boy. I believe we're gonna make it this time. Shall we go in and see? Why not, old chappy? Realism! The movie public wants to see it like it really is! Action! What? But they're stars! Realism and action mean danger! Danger? That means hurt. Oh, I don't like that. Do we? But, DJ, our stars might get hurt! Or something! You're the agent! You better think of something, or else. It's in our contract. No danger. After all, we're superstars. I know, I know. You better come up with an idea. We start shooting Catman meets Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, tomorrow. I know, I know. Am I seeing double? That's it! Stop the car! I've got it! Doubles! We'll use doubles! Wait here, I'll be right back! Hey! Oh, hold on! Wait a minute! Glad to see ya! Morris Williams, Star Maker, how'd you boys like to be in showbiz? I can make you rich, famous, the idol of millions! I can make you stars! Just send that line. <laughs> Report to my the panic pictures down down Hollywood. Bye. Tent man meets ding dong. Take one, see one. Oh! Amazing. No one could ever tell the difference. Yes, amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. <laughs> We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman, Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, has escaped! 
We need your help. Let's go, Ruben. We must save the city. Or else. Ding Dong is not around here, Ruben. Perhaps if we went up higher. Cut. Doubles on the set. Cut! Stars on stage. Already? Well, if we must, a star's work is never done. We must capture Ding Dong to the cat car. Take their places. Oh, dear. We need a vacation. Oh, we certainly do. Doubles into the cat car. Let's go, 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 go. Camera car. Follow up. Oh, that's great, Harvey. Great. That's that Harvey the Stuntman. For real, it's a very real creature from outer space. See you later. Academy Award, here we come. Okay, so you throw the cat rope to the other roof and swing down. Get it? <laughs> Cut! Ready for stars close up. Oh dear, another tough scene. Say you, Ruben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a closer. <laughs> okay, airplane, start your dive.
I shall seek a new apprentice to replace. Replace by a cat and mouse? You can't do this, master. I can do anything, and you can go chase your tail. <laughs> okay, master, since you put it that way. Now for my new apprentices. Clean up this messy magic room and see that my props are in order for tonight's big show. Whilst I laugh. Boy, are you guys going to be sorry for stealing my job? Uh, just as soon as I catch my tail. Find out. I'll soon find out. 
Oh, all seeing eye, show me what caused this calamity. Yes, monster. So, my apprentices and ex-apprentices are the reasons, eh? under my most diabolical spell. You know, fellas, I wish we could start this day all over. Ah, so glad you volunteered to be my new apprentice. Oh, no. You mean we gotta go through all this again? Anybody can be a magician nowadays. You're right, Master. The business is going to the dogs. <laughs> this is the city, uh, city. Once a peaceful, busy town, it is now caught in the iron grip of grind. No rainy This baby grand is worth a cool grand. And no billboard is safe from the mustache. As if this were not bad enough, striking fear in the hearts of all food peddlers. Oh no! Weighing in at 300 pounds, Pat Woman is on the loose. Yummy! When asked why he couldn't stop the crime wave, Police Chief Joe Paderndern said, Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I sure wish Super Kate would come to the rescue. I wonder where he can be. Hello, Pete's Taylor Shot. This is Stanley Kate. Er, uh, I mean, Carter. Could you send my suit and hat over, please? Yes, Mr. Carter, right away. Uh, Tom, Jerry! <laughs> Get this stuff over to Mr. Carter's house, apartment 10C. Oh, it's you. Come in, quick. Thank goodness it's you. One never knows who's at one's door nowadays. Yes, it is I, Super Kate, champion of niceness. But just a shadow of what I used to be. I suppose you're wondering why I let crime go unstopped on the streets. The sad truth of it is, I have lost my courage. Oh, if it ever gets out, my arch enemies will strike at me at any moment. And that is why I have asked you to bring my civilian clothes. I'm all washed up. Hark! It's my arch enemy, the forward! Right you are, Chicken Super Kate, and I'm here to bowl you over. <laughs> oh, goodness. You just ruined my wall. You win, Super Kate. You knocked the pins out from under me. I'll be nice from now on. I know the score. That rumor about you being cowardly sure was false. Bye. Sucker. <laughs> oh! I was only fooling Super Kate. Please, spare me. You may split. Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail. Thanks, Super Kate. Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. And for your reward, I'm making you deputy Super Kate. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super Kate? You're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Nobby Piano Store. This is a job for Super Kate. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da!
goodness, that scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop High C before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive. my high note, which will shatter the glass, and the piano is mine. Do, re, mi, fa, so. <laughs> I've lost my voice. Da, 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 da. Super King. The window was broken before you even got here, so you were off key from the start. Foiled by Super King. <laughs> Breaking the glass was very clever, Tom and Jerry, Super Cape deputies. Wait, it's a message from the Chief on my two-way radio bracelet. Yes, Chief? The mustache is messing up all the posters over at Billboard Row. Stop it! Now, here's the plan. You two will paste up these self-sticking posters to slow him up. Then, I come from behind and grab him. Get it? <laughs> oh dear, he's there. But my cold feet are back. All right, you two, what's this all about? Something around the corner, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Yikes! A real cop! And you're going to a real jail! Oh, Super Kate, my arch enemy, you're behind this! Nice work, Super Kate. Your two deputies let him right into a trap. Good work, boys. Your actions have given me the courage to go in alone. No man alive can frighten me again. No man, do you hear? Da, 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 da. No, no, hell, not you. I forgot about fat woman. I quit. The job is all yours. Da, 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 da. Once again, the city is at peace, and clothes are delivered each day without fear from the little tailor shop. Because Super Cakes, Tom and Jerry, are on the job. Delivery! Boy, there go two real Super Cake heroes. Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cake. I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look content. Stand at attention when I'm talking to you! All right, let's get cracking. I want the windows washed, I want the dishes washed, oh, I want the floors swept. But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yeah. Well, semi-cute daughters? Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! Now, my two sweet pussy comes. It's time to get ready for the ball. Now, listen, you freeloading cat. 
You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then, some people wouldn't be able to go to the mall. Right, girls? Yes, mother. <laughs>
We both know how the story is supposed to end, so why don't you just put out and let's read it. No! Now that's not fair! This fairy tale always ends the same way, and we don't write! We spent all that time getting ready for the ball! And what for? What for? We never got the bridge! Farmer Jerry, corn farmers. Ah, oh, there's nothing I like better than fresh, sweet corn. And you two like corn, right? But we both can't have it, right? Okay, then I have a deal for you. That corn is ready for picking. So whoever likes it most will have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay. But how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. Handcuffs. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas. Arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Ah, corn. Delicious corn. <laughs> Me in here, it's dark and I can't get out. Delicious. Oh, being locked in with all this corn. Butter corn? For me? Sure. Then the trap goes snap, and the bomb goes boom. Ha! But I'll be safe in here while I lasso me some hot butter. Oops. Well, I know that I shouldn't talk with my mouth full of delicious corn. But I think you guys did that just beautifully. I can't believe it. They hid some corn in a toy. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in here. No fair, you guys fill this with glue. Skynap! Well, since there's no stewardess, I'll have to serve myself. This one's for Wilbur and Morgul Crow, the first crows to snitch corn. was 
very few. But when you see one train, you see them all. If it isn't my favorite dish, all dished up. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> A scarecrow. Just the place to have my snack. Far from those farmers. <laughs> The whole world will know my name. The name of... Uh, 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 my name... Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, could you give me a hint? First word. Quack, 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 quack. Duck. Second word. First syllable. Jack, Jack. The second syllable. Sick? Ill? Ill. Duck, Jack, ill. Duck, Jackal, Duck, Jackal, Dr. Jackal! Oh, yes, that's me! And now, would you bring some tea, please, while I carry on with my experiment? It appears to be ready. I will test it on myself. Down the hatch. <sighs> I don't feel any taller, but I do feel some changes. I don't understand. 
first syllable. Monkey, 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 mon. The first syllable, mon. The second syllable. You're mixing something. Mix, stew, soup, stir. Monster, monster, mon monster.
so! The face is a big bully! Huh? <laughs> oh? Don't you know it's wrong to deface public property? Huh? And don't you know it's not nice to make unflattering pictures of me? Yes, you! I'll show you who's a dog face! Oh, oh, where did they go? Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> But it's a Tom and Jerry. Oh, good. I'll use the old dog face trampoline jump. And the countdown to send the first unmanned rocket to the planet Dog Star has begun. In a few seconds, this giant rocket will hurl into space and start its long journey. switch to the remote camera and check the interior of our unmanned craft that's manned by a couple of stowaways. Good luck, fellas. You'll need it. You're headed for the mysterious planet Dog Star. Ah, uh, look! Alien! Could that be a cat and mouse? Maybe. Let's capture him and see what the great one has to say. That was easy. Yeah. I wonder why the great one says that cats and mices are dangerous. There has not been a cat or a mouse on this planet for centuries. Eject them into outer space. Ah, oh, but great one, they seem harmless. They're not dangerous. Everyone on this planet will think what I want them to. Remember what I said. Cats and mice are enemies. Cats and mice are enemies. Good. Now seize them. Seize them. Attention all citizens of the planet Dogstar. The enemy has escaped. Everyone after them. Cats and mice are enemies. Cats and mice are enemies. Seize them. Seize them. I got them. I got them. Cats and mice are enemies. I got them. Cats and mice are enemies. The sector B, great one. Attention, all citizens. Be on the lookout for a cat and mouse. They are your enemies. I'm looking. I'm looking. I found them, great one. The enemy are headed for the forbidden zone. Attention, forbidden zone guard. The aliens must not enter. I'll stop our enemies, old great one. Hey, great one! They they jumped into the forbidden zone! Then I must stop them! Before they learn the secret of the planet of the dogs! Too late! They've learned the secret! Yes, it's true. Centuries ago, this was the planet of cats and mice. And us dogs were treated like inferior pets. They left for the planet Earth, so we took over. But now, if you expect to return, forget it. Because I made everyone think you are enemies with my computerized thought control system. Yes, the Great One is not just a statue, but a computer. God sees them. You two will be sent into orbit in outer space. 
damn aliens! You can't escape! You can't outrun my jet-powered throne! You'll never find your way out of the forest! I'll trip you down like a dog! Never a cat and mouse! <laughs> huh? Impossible! They're gone! Disappeared! I must return to the computer phone control and alert everyone to look for them! <laughs> now to activate my thought control center before my subjects start thinking for themselves! <gasps> Attention all dogs! This is the Great One! And here's your thought for the day! You must love all cats and mice! Really? You must love all cats and mice! They are your friends! Hey! What am I saying? No! No! Don't touch that self-destruct button! Oh no! Now everyone will love cats and mice, and everyone will think for themselves! Ah! up the rocket leaving the planet Dawnstar. Our two stowaway space travelers are aboard, and what a story they'll have to give us! It's a perfect landing! Tell us, Tom and Jerry, was there any sign of life on the planet Dawnstar? Ooh, ooh, look who's back! <gasps> Wait, come back! Don't go in there! That rocket is going to the moon! Can you believe it? They're off again! We'll never know about the mysterious planet Dog Star until Tom and Jerry get back from the moon. But we'll all be waiting for our brave cat and mouse turnoffs. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> Are ready for a discussion on departure. All right, Mouse. 
Uh-oh, I've been apprehended. Negative even. Don't tell me. You mean to evict me from my premises. My home even. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Leave me homeless. No place to rest my little head. To raise a whole family. Myself even. But I'm a hard fellas. Don't cast me out the cold. They need even. Oh, please, let me stay. My home will be your home. We'll be roommates. Cold homeowners even. What do you say, fellas? Okay? Uh-huh. Oh, Swellsy. No, no, no. Oh, Swellsy, Swellsy. I'll never be alone again. We'll be a family. Just you and me and... Huh? Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's a record. A tree record trespasser. I'm building a road through here, and you're right in the way of progress. A road? Right through here? A little home yet? Like I said, clear the way, because nothing stands in the way of progress. So here it comes, ready or not. Gentlemen, a home is in danger. Therefore, to arms, to legs even. Wait here! I have an idea! Ha! A couple of good bumps, and this tree will be a pile of toothpicks! Aha! There's the little bolt that holds the whole thing together! A couple of good turns, and this piece of iron will be a pile of junk! But is that gonna stop me? Ha! Now let him try to stop my 20 ton steam shovel! Gee! Sure getting <coughs> smoggy in here! I can't hardly see a thing! But that won't stop me. There's the tree straight ahead. And one scoop is all it'll take to upend that tree. Must be stuck. Better give her full power. So what say we make a deal? Good idea. And I have just the plan. Far be it from us to stop progress. Gee, thanks. Huh? You gotta be kidding. You expect me to follow these plans? Affirmative. Take it or leave it even. But remember, progress must progress. Yeah, I guess you're right. And since the road has to go through, you got a deal. Sorry, pals. Maybe it ain't so peaceful and quiet here in the forest primeval. But at least we saved our happy home. <laughs>
Don't run, fellas! You saved my life! We're friends forever! I am Toro, the terror, the fiercest bull in all of Mexico. And as a token of my friendship, here are two passes to the bull ring. You can watch me fight this afternoon. Help! Run for your lives! One of the bulls has escaped! Oh no! It's El Rotno! <laughs> Such magnificent cave work with the dress! I'll make you the most famous bullfighter in all Mexico! But, senor, you will not only be famous, you will be rich if you fight Toro the Terrible this afternoon! We are friends forever! Olay! The bull you will fight this afternoon. I'll leave you here to study the bull before the fight. Relax, my friends. I was putting on the fierce act for the benefit of the boss. You have nothing to fear. This fight will be duck soup. If I spin the left horn, it means I will pass on the left. If I spin the right horn, it means I will pass on the right. Ladies and gentlemen, the bravest matador in all of Mexico, Senor El Tom, and his assistant, Senor El Jerry. And in this corner of the round ring, we have the fiercest bull in all Mexico. Oh, the toughest bull around. <laughs> 